In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use customer statuses. Any contact can be given a single status, and that status can be used for two things. Firstly, to show how close they are to becoming a customer in a sales pipeline. So here on the left hand side, we've got a group of potential customers, maybe following a trade show, and they go through a number of statuses, not contacted, interested, very interested, and ready to order. Because each of these statuses has got the potential to be assigned a number of reminder days, in other words, how often do you want to talk to them, you can also use contact statuses to group your existing customers. So you might have a status for regular customer, and you email this group every 120 days, and VIP customers who you call every 30 days. The list of customer statuses in your account is completely configurable. To set up your statuses, go to List Edit Statuses at the bottom of this menu, or access it directly from the setup area. And here we can see some statuses I created earlier. First of all, we've got a couple of statuses here at the top for contacts that we're due to speak to. The new ones are the ones we've imported from a trade show, and the marketing ones have been placed back on this after an earlier conversation failed. As soon as you've spoken to these contacts, they're moved into a status called Contact Attempted. Then once you've actually made the contact, you decide how likely they are to close, so here between 25 and 75%. Then I've got the two customer statuses, VIP and Standard. And if a deal was lost, the contact is moved to lost. Any change to the status on a contact is made manually by you or your team. There's nothing in Brightpool that automatically changes the status of a contact. Each of these different statuses has got a different number of remind days. If you set a remind days of 7 on a status, then if after 7 days you haven't spoken to that contact, it will appear in the count on the left hand side. Clicking that count will show you a little bit more information. So we've got two contacts with no owner on status lead 75% that have not been contacted in 7 days. And these reminders only show for your contacts or for contacts that have not been assigned an owner. So here, for example, I can see two of my contacts on status lead 75% haven't been contacted in a week. If I click that, it'll show me those two contacts. What I can then do is drop into the contact record, give them a call, and then add a note to tell Brightpool that I have spoken to them. Save and back takes me to the list that I'm working through. And we can see now that because I have spoken to that customer within the last seven days, the reminder's been removed. These reminders are not emailed to you, they only appear on the left hand side. You can change the sequence of statuses within the pipeline stage by dragging and dropping on the left hand side. To move a status between pipeline stages, click to edit it. These pipeline stages are not configurable. And whilst the words we use here might not mean the same as they do in your business, they're really used just to group these statuses. You can add status as a column on your contact list by hovering over your name, clicking My Preferences, choosing Status from the select boxes, drag it into the right order, and then Save Changes. You can update contact statuses in three ways. The first way is to drop into the contact itself, and then on the right hand side, select one from here. You can see that a note is added to the timeline to say who updated them and when it was done. Another way to update contact statuses is in bulk from the contact list. Choose the contacts you want to update, and from the More menu, choose Update Status. Simply select your status and update the contacts. The same note will be added to the contact timeline. The other way to update contact statuses is by importing a spreadsheet and there's a separate video that shows you how to update contacts from an Excel file. I recommend your sales team use the contact dashboard with these two widgets, contact by status and contact pipeline. Both of these dashboard widgets can be configured to show all contacts or just my contacts. And both of them support full drill down. The contact pipeline widget can be viewed in full screen. And clicking any of the bars takes you to the list of contacts on that status. What this is doing is it's actually just filtering the list by the contact status field. There's just one more thing to know about contact statuses, which is this setting here, the status for new customers. And this is for customers created via smart forms or in the Brightpell system, not via integrated sales channels. And you can find this at Setup, Contacts, Contact Defaults. Now you know everything there is to know about customer statuses in Brightpell.